Hey, it's Lydia, Priestess Honeymoon. Got my second session of my tattoo today. Super pumped. It's coming along. My snake tattoo. Just feeling serpent energy flowing through me. So hard. So wild. Just, oh. And there was like a bit of a crash after I left. Just feeling like all sorts of feelings coming up. Like, wow, experiencing that level of a serpent shakti spiral energy just flowing through me, really unlocking new magic, new powers and potential within me. I'm able to hold so magical, so amazing, so powerful. Yeah, so I feel like the crash is normal. Like at least I'm like telling myself that and then being like, oh, like I'm so grateful to be here alive and able to feel this because the more I feel this, the more I can go higher into more pleasure, more joy, more bliss, more just being this, opening my being, so expanding, expanding, knowing that I am the magic and this energy just flows so freely through me and just hmm, feeling my energy really touching people. And, and like just the work I've really done on myself in the last few years, really feeling the time is now to bring this magic and to life. Starting my womb reverse class as a woman's circle, I really feel so called to women's circles from the first time I heard about them and just knowing that like it's such a good way to start my program, just like connecting with women and just Helping to heal the sister wounds, meeting each other where we're at, really supporting each other through whatever is coming up and knowing that I'm here for this, really knowing that I can hold all of this energy and that ah, just being so, is all there is, so magical, so beautiful. <laughs> really feeling into the end of this challenge like i'm on day 231 thanks for being here and i'm like oh full commitment i'm gonna be here every day and it's like oh i'm not showing up every day but then being like oh i have three kids i have a life there's this there's this there's this and not using those as excuses but also not being like oh i need to do i need to do more and it's like no being is enough following these calls listening because i don't always listen you know, two years ago at this fall solstice, I followed my calls to this beautiful witch school graduation and fall solstice ceremony. Saw a deer on my way in and just got the words like, listen, trust, surrender. And I have been doing that. I've been working so hard on those things and just knowing that the time is now to really listen to follow the calls like do 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 go find the balance anyway it's like oh play play flow state flow state magic my ah! <laughs> total amazingness and like really putting myself out there in relationships and learning and growing in every moment like what else is there i feel like this is enough i don't need to do anything else but yeah just really feeling this challenge and my growth since the beginning and you know I gave myself to the end of the year that's like eight you know for May June July August September October November December seven months extension <laughs> but then at least whatever whenever I finish it was perfect it will be perfect and just knowing that there's so much more to come. Mwah! Play, baby! Peace and love! Low battery! Ah, 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 ah. So much love! Mwah! Just be. <laughs> be free. Free to be. Ah, 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 ah. Mwah! So much love.